connecting with those who are not like-minded. Mm-hmm. I'm in the same boat. We're not regular. A lot of people are not like-minded. A lot of people are not like-minded lifestyle-wise, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And that you made a concerted effort to connect with people? I try to. Um, my wife, Stephanie, and I talk about this a lot. You know, there's people that I'm around that I know have opinions about me or um, what, whatever it is, whatever it is. Trying to bridge those gaps is it's it's tricky and i have opinions about people people mm-hmm. have opinions about me i have opinions about people but it's worse when they have opinions about you <laughs> it's so much worse <laughs> um but i always go back to my very first girlfriend <clears throat> i'm still close to her and her whole family and mm-hmm. her parents and how old were you when you dated mm, i was maybe 19 Mm -hmm. I don't don't remember it's been a while her parents are in their mid 80s and they're in small town Ohio Mm -hmm. and um, I am so close they're like parents to me yeah and I take my family to visit them in the summertime I love them so much they are hardcore Catholic Mm -hmm. they are tiny tiny Ohio people Mm -hmm. And their our beliefs don't match. Yeah, in a lot of ways, but we love each other like crazy people. Yeah. I text with her mother pretty regularly, yeah. and uh, Stephanie adores her. And uh, and it's an interesting thing that that has helped in these times that are you know obviously there's been such division forever. In, in the world and yeah. in people's personal lives and different communities. and But it's so divided in, in the yeah. world and even in the comedy community. And it's, it's, it's a microcosm yeah. of the bigger picture. And, and I always go back to that, my relationship with them. Because when I walk in their door, I'm not talking abortion with them. You know, they're not talking about any fears they might have about where my soul might go after this lifetime. We are just together and we laugh so hard and have so much fun. And as soon as I come visit that, they're cooking vegan food and they're just, we're uh, enjoying each other for, in all the different ways that we do without bringing these other topics in. Yeah. And um, and I carry that example with me all the time to try and find ways to connect with others when it is a bit of a struggle. Um, and but I'm always struggling with it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's it. I think in your case. I don't have a thing that I'm liberal and vegan. I'm I'm like, whatever, pretty like p- lesbian pe- people have a h- problem with homosexuality. They just do. That's a big one. This is the first I've heard. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> okay. Um, well, it, it goes beyond even just being gay because the lines are so blurred right now with gay, bi- yeah, non-binary, yeah, trans yeah, yeah, yeah. that it's like, oh, I'm okay with you, but trans right. or non-binary. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and my point is, if you think you're okay with me, what you're saying about trans or non-binary people, um, that bleeds into my world too. Uh, if if we're just talking about how you love me, um, when I go into it's, a public you're one bathroom, of the good ones. yeah. When I go into the, a public bathroom, people don't know how I identify. I get looks. I I feel and you pee in the sink. Exactly. If not on the floor, I go all over the place. I don't care. I don't That's care. Problem. Yeah, I'm on Star Trek. Shield upgrade. Um, it it goes beyond just even like oh I'm I'm gay and people don't accept me for that. Yeah. Or have whatever opinions. Um, there's what's the beyond that when you say it goes beyond that? Is it is it well, I'm saying that oddly, 
until a certain point, there was a window of time where I didn't feel the the aggression. Yeah. Yeah, there was about a six, 10-year period yeah, probably. Yeah, there, there was a window where I didn't feel that aggression. Which I, I, and I don't say this ironically, Ellen was a big part of. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Um, oh my God. I, I can't even believe the the roads that have been opened for me because of Ellen. Yeah. Because of so many different people, but yes, very specifically yeah. Ellen. But I do, I feel it in in certain areas and in public bathrooms. And and I, you know, I had a show that my agent flagged saying there was some pushback because there was a whole pride uh, like all sorts of events going on from stand up to drag shows, um, all, all sorts of things. And he said, you know, there's, there's pushback, there's letters, there's some aggression going on. And I thought, I, I don't think I'm going to take that chance. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm going to take that chance. And he yeah. said, I'm happy. I'll fly out there with you, or you could hire security. And I was like, "What are we even talking about?" I'm happily married with the most incredible children, and I love what I do. But no, thank you. Yeah, it's no, like, what am you. I? I'm now. I'm. You're Martin Luther King. You ha you have to no risk way. life and death to. And it was one of the highest paying gigs I had been offered that year, and it was still like, no, thank you. Yeah. No world. Yeah, it's so funny because Fortune was on here talking about like wor worrying about her safety. Yeah, which is a thing I don't. As a straight person, I just don't think about that much. It, for Fortune being Fortune safety. <laughs> no, I, I that I actually do worry. Uh, no, I just don't think about the my physical safety at a show because of who I. Am. It's like a. It's a. High, significantly higher level of difficulty, and so fucking unnecessary, mm -hmm. and barbaric, yeah, and unfair. Yeah, and it's something. Even though we've made such strides in ways since in the past decade, yeah, it's obviously so much of it has also gone away. Yeah, and and yeah, me twenty eleven Tig. I didn't think about my safety on stage or traveling in those ways. And now it's not just me, but I have a family. Yeah. And it's that is my whole priority obviously is I want to be I want to be healthy, I want to be safe, I want them to be healthy and safe. And I know it's like, yeah, of course, but it's like it's not as easy for everybody. Yeah. It but and it's it's makes the the Desire to connect. How do we navigate? Like just a, des a genuine desire to connect. Mm -hmm. When there's aggression from the other side, mm -hmm. that's a that's hard. It's really hard. Yeah. Like it, and it's also like, what am I trying to connect with? And then you, I have to like teach them. I don't fucking teach. You know, you shouldn't have to teach people. Yeah, I we were on a flight, um, New York or New York to L.A. And whenever I tell this story, people are like, where were you flying? New York to LA. Mm -hmm. New York to mm -hmm. LA. Mm -hmm. There was a family that wasn't seated together. And so Stephanie and I offered, um, and we had our kids with us, but we offered to do like a switcheroonie yeah. so that we could figure something out yeah. for them as well. And then when uh, this woman, um, it's been so many years, but... I can't remember if I was standing up. I think I was to go to the bathroom or she was. The family that we offered to help, she said, um, so who, um, who's the man out of the two of you? And I, I thought she was kidding. I said, uh, <laughs> uh, neither. <laughs> yeah. We're both female. And she was like, hmm. And uh, is your family ashamed of you? I was, uh, 
uh, what are we yeah. talking about? Yeah. I was answering a few of her questions because it was that feeling of like, there's no world that she's really asking me this. Yeah. And I was waiting and for the punchline. And you find yourself line. answering, and you're like, okay, I'll and go then along I with said, the bed. But then I said, I'm not answering any more of your questions. I was so alarmed, obviously. Yeah. That when she said, "Is your family ashamed?" I said, "No." I said, "My family is," and then I couldn't even believe I was giving her the time of day, and she looked so normal. New York to L.A. Yeah, our kids were very young, um, but I don't know if it was one of those like, like a flight was delayed or, and everybody was yeah. like, it, it felt Scatter like a shot. yeah, it felt like a haywire situation. With the yeah, flight. and that's the thing. Like as a straight person, never think about it. So shocked to hear it. I'm sure you were shocked to experience it. Stunned. Yeah. Stunned. Because I hear racial versions all the time. Where I'm like, when? Mm -hmm. Today? How? Yeah. I don't know, man. It's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Rock told me one time he had to get a surrogate to go look at summer houses for him because they wouldn't rent to a black person. It, so you to get a white, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're like, what? Wow. <laughs> yeah, just a, and uh, it seems impossible, but like, and yeah, and and you don't, as if you're you or whomever, you don't want to like shut it all down, shut down. I'm gonna assume the worst about people, mm -hmm. or I have to stay vulnerable and get crushed, kind of. It's a, a conscious decision to try to remain open. And, you know, there's, I, I'm originally from Mississippi and going back there, there's all different shapes and sizes yeah. of family members, uh, literally and figuratively. And, um, and I just, I, I mean, there's extended, extended family too mm -hmm. and married in and, all sorts thrown in the mix, like most people's families. But um, but I could shut it all down and be like, we're not going and yeah. we're, you know, yeah. but I, we have so much fun and we are ourselves and we, you know, um, don't hide anything about our thoughts or feelings and, um, and then also try to remain open and um, friendly with, People that we know that have very just such opposing views on everything. Yeah, and there, I don't even know what the best approach is because I always feel like the. I'm sure someone made this observation, but the idea of like, if you're afraid of gay marriage, just go hang out with a gay married couple. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be bored. <laughs> Within 15 minutes, <laughs> it's just they got to go get some food. <laughs> then they got to pick up the thing, and then they got to go move stuff. the thing. And yeah. then, of course, there's like a lot of like gay pretty stuff. graphic yeah. gay stuff. Yeah, but then it's boring again. Yeah. Well, when Stephanie and I went to, we go back to Mississippi. Like I would say for sure a couple times a year, and to see if your family's ashamed of you or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And um, and when we went last year. Uh, there was a night where this is what really started the conversation between us of like, how do we navigate this? Um, not just with my family or Mississippi or it's everywhere, like in, yeah. in the world and comedy and everywhere. Um, but everyone was sitting around talking, having drinks. It's getting later and later. This is a mixed room of family, friends, friends of family, mm -hmm. issues came up. Stephanie is not chill about her beliefs. Mm -hmm. She is not chill. And I was sitting there watching. I wasn't, didn't have any alcohol in me. And I was watching the conversation go and the questions happen. And I was, I was, I was clocking Stephanie and thinking, okay, uh, <laughs> let's see how this goes. Uh, cause she is very, she's wonderful, very open, friendly, but to a certain point, she's like hard pass. And at a point in this one conversation, she stood up, turned to my entire, the 
whole room at my cousin's house and just yelled that they all had blood on their hands. And she went upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and I I just, I, I sat there and I turned to everyone and I just said, well, Good night, and uh, and I got up and went upstairs with her, and and uh, she, and she was like, "Oh my god!" And I said, "Are you wanting to leave, or um, do you want to get a hotel? Do you want to go back to L.A.?" And um, and she was like, "No, I'm okay." And um, she was online donating to the ACLU, and um, and then I just said, "For whatever it's worth." When we go downstairs tonight or tomorrow there's not going to be any awkwardness from my family because they'll talk about anything, whether it's acceptable or not the way it's discussed. Um, and sure enough, like in the morning, it's like, good morning. Whoa, we sure what, you know, I... did you get a laugh on? Well, good night. Yes. <laughs> okay. great. Yes. I mean, there is, there's not, my family's very, gregarious and like a lot of characters yeah. and uh there's always like 15 people in the house and neighbors you've never seen swimming in my cousin's pool and mm -hmm. you know it's yeah. just a it's a free-for-all yeah. and um and we just went we actually just got back from mississippi and had a blast and so it's not like tig and stephanie are coming yeah. back in town and remember what happened last year <laughs> you know it's not yeah. like that but um so it's 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 new beginnings of of that um how do you navigate family and yet we're flying out to Ohio to stay with these very conservative conservative catholic um elderly people with our gay family um so it's it's all around, obviously. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab-assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high-pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.